Dance Bunny, and I look nothing less than a mess right now. I've been up at my studio all night tinkering, and then I came home and decided I wanted to film a nail tutorial for you guys. So yeah, I'm totally sorry that I look terrible, but I did, however, wear a shirt today that has Vlad the Impaler on it. Yes, Vlad the Impaler, Dracula. I tried out this look last week and it was based on a photograph that Hells for Children posted on my Facebook wall. I decided that I wanted to try it but in a little bit different colors. The one that she posted on my wall it was like black nails with um, like a green slime look um, but I don't know I kind of wanted to do it this way. I don't I don't even know why. The colors that you're going to need to achieve this look, or the products should I say, is a good base coat and I like to use OPI's start to finish. And then the teal color that I use, if you want your look to look just like mine, um, is China Glazes for Audrey. Then to create the black slime dots, I use Wet n Wild's Black Cream. And you can actually get this color most places for 99 cents. And then the last thing you're going to need is a um, really, really shiny glossy top coat. Um, and for that I use Palladio's Nail Shine Stuff. So the tool that you're going to need to do this is a dotting tool. And once again, I got this from Sally Beauty Supply for about $4. It has a rounded edge dotting tool on one side, and then it comes with like a little um, art paintbrush type thing on the other end. Um, and if you don't have a Sally Beauty Supply anywhere near you, you can also get these at Sephora. They're a little bit more expensive. They're like seven bucks, I think. And then the last tool that you're going to need to do this is some kind of thing to put the black paint or whatever color you're going to use for the dots onto. I know some people have said that they've used like a paper plate um, or something like that. Last time when I did it first I used the top of a coke can um, but this time I classically used the lid of my Chick-fil-A cup from earlier today. So this tutorial actually starts with me applying the black slime dots using the dotting tool because that's really all there is to this tutorial. Um, I just kind of felt like it would be boring for me to be like watch me paint my nails turquoise. So this tutorial starts with me already having one coat of the base coat on and then I apply two coats of the China Glaze for Audrey. Audrey, right? Audrey? Audrey. Why don't we just jump right on into the tutorial right now? What was even that? That sounded like a big slur. Let's just do the tutorial now. I hope you guys enjoy. So you're just going to take the dotter tool and grab a little bit of the paint that you put on the top of whatever you're using. Sorry that was a little blurry. Is just basically making these small French tip on the tops of every single one of your nails. It's not a true French tip, it's just kind of like creating little messy, bumpy looking dots on the tip of each nail. And then you go through and add the slime. For this, I just basically take my time and go really slow and make sure to not make it look bloppy, but just, you know, add little dots. Some I make thicker, some I make thinner. And then I just, you know, make it look like a drip, a slime drip. If any of y'all are from Houston, you know how Marvin Zendler used to say, slime in the ass machine. That's all I can think of when I do these nails. So once you um, let the slime drips dry for at least about 10 minutes, you're going to want to protect all of your hard work with a top coat. You're just going to want to put a nice thick top coat on each one of your nails. So here is our finished look, which surprisingly you saw at the beginning of the video already. So I don't know. I really like this. I'm definitely going to try the... Um, blood dripping look sometime in the very near future as many of my subscribers suggested. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know there wasn't much to it but so many of you requested that I posted the tutorial. So tu I can't talk today. So many of you requested that I post it so I did. So I will see you guys again tomorrow for my next video, so stay tuned. Um, be sure and take a moment to subscribe, please. Um, comment down below and let me know what 
you think of this look. If you want, you can like me on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash graveyard girl, or you can follow me on Twitty. Twitty? What is Twitty? You can follow me on Twitty. Or you can follow me on Twitter. There I am pretty vacant, and I'll put it right down here. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.